Hi, welcome to this tutorial for JoelAutos.com. Today I'll be editing this photo by adding texture to it. I'm going to show you a couple of masking techniques and a few other techniques for editing your image. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start I've, I've brought a photo into uh, my Adobe Elements. Uh, it's a uh, straight out of camera shot and I'm going to uh, first start by adding texture to it. So to do that I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Place. Now a dialog box will be presented to you and here I have uh, several of my textures. Uh, these are from the Jolalos Texture Club. This is actually next month's release for August. Uh, you can go to joelalos.com to download freebies, uh, join the Texture Club, and I also have other uh, texture packages that are available for sale. Uh, for this image I'm going to use uh, this texture here. It's an August 2 texture. and I'm going to click Place. Now the texture will overlay on my image and here I'll be presented the option to scale it. I'm going to go ahead and scale it up to the edge here and down to the bottom here. The textures are very high resolution so you can scale them to just about any image size. To commit uh, my changes I'm going to click this checkbox here and the texture will be overlaid on my image. Now to get my image to shine through there are several things you can do. You could either adjust the opacity down like this or use a blending mode and these are much more common. There are several blending modes that uh, you can use. With that the most popular are soft light and overlay. I'm going to use soft light in this example and that will let the texture shine through, add contrast to the image and color. If I were to choose Overlay, it does the same, but it's uh, much more contrasty. Other popular options are Screen, which will lighten the image and overlay the texture. But I will choose Soft Light. And I like how that looks in general. I'm actually going to pull the opacity of the texture layer down. So I have the texture layer selected here. I'm going to take my opacity from 100%. And I like it... about 75 percent and that looks good to me. And really that is the basics of applying texture in Photoshop Elements. Uh, anything beyond this is an advanced technique and I'm going to show you a couple of those. Okay so overall I like the look of this image but to me the uh, darks in the image are just a little bit too dark and there's an easy way to fix that. Uh, it's by adding a levels layer. Now I want the levels layer to be behind the texture but in front of the background. So I'm going to select my background layer and I'm going to select on my layers palette to create a new fill adjustment layer and from there I'll select levels. This will place the levels layer in between my texture and the background so essentially it will be affecting the background but not the texture layer. So down here I have on a new palette you'll see adjustments for levels and in order to adjust just the shadows, the dark area regions of my image, I'm going to select here and then move this slider and that will lighten the shadows but the midtones and highlights will remain the same. That's a little too far. and I like that. Overall I like this but uh, these green tones throughout here are a little too too green for me so another thing you can do to use adjustment layers is add a cool tone and use, allow that to affect the overall image. So I'm actually going to want that cool tone to be above the texture layer so it affects both the texture layer and the background layer so I'll select my texture layer here and I want a new adjustment layer. I'm going to select a solid color this time. And I'd like that solid color to be a cool tone. I'm going to go for sort of a medium blue with a bit of green. And I'll select OK. Again I'm going to go over to my blending modes here and move this to a soft light blending mode. 
and you can see that takes a lot of those green tones and turns them into more of a bluish hue. Here's a before and an after. Okay, again I'm going to adjust the opacity. I don't want quite that much blue to shine through, but we'll allow some of it to come through. And that looks good. That looks good. So at this point I'd want to mask out some of the texture that is on the flower in the image. And there are many ways to do that. Today I'm going to show you how to mask with pure color. So in order to do that I'm going to select my texture layer here and I'm going to move it back into normal opacity and I'm going to move the opacity back up to 100 percent. I'm going to hide my color fill layer so I have the pure texture layer showing. Then on my color picker I'm going to select a medium tone from my texture and click OK. This will bring that tone to be the foreground color in my color picker. Now I want to set this back to soft light, the opacity back to 75%, and show my color fill layer. Now the technique I'm going to use to mask texture out of the image is to paint directly onto this texture layer. So I'll select a brush tool, and I want a soft brush, uh, 67 pixels is fine. And now with that color I'll paint directly on the layer, but before I do it's going to ask me to simplify the layer because I uh, brought it in as an import and it is actually, well you can read it there, it must be simplified to be edited, so I will click OK. And now I'm going to paint directly on the layer itself with that color brush. And you can see as I paint on it, I'm painting with 100% opacity actually you bring that down a bit so it doesn't uh, affect it quite so broadly, but you can see the texture is coming off the flower. And for these purposes, I'll do this a little roughly, but you can see overall as I paint that, it removes the texture layer and allows an even tone that was part of the texture to be a part of the image. Okay, I like how that looks. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, textures, presets, and more, visit me online at www.joelolives.com.